What's up, what's up, what's up? I need all y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. So when I tap in, you can tap in with me. Right now, we ready to check a song Campbell out, giving his reaction to Big U and Wack 100 situation. You know I'm going to give my opinion. Drop yours in the comment. Please do me a big favor to support the channel. Smash that like button. Let's check it out. Could get Nipsey to deal. Mm. So is you and Big U still faking and playing everybody as if like y'all really, really beefing? The same way y'all was doing the music industry? Are y'all doing that to the regular people too? Acting like y'all had beef? Did you not just hear what Wax said out of his mouth? Tell Big U, hey, watch your mouth, bro. I see you go to the slick shit with Jim Jones. I said, uh, I wonder what the world would think if they knew right that the nigga died. You try to get me to go up to 30% of all this shit because you said you had a contract on it. You know what I mean? That's crazy. That's what Wack 100 telling her son Campbell about Big U. Like when, uh, when Nip died, Big U went to Wack hypothetically or coincidentally or allegedly. However you want to take it. And ask him, help me go off just 30% of his estate. And according to Wack, he say, you ain't do that when a nigga was alive. I'm not going to help you do that right now. Because that's some bitch ass shit. But according to the interview yesterday, Wack said, I love his family. I wish that shit would never happen. So it's like, I'm lost at this point. Let's, let's, let's check it out, though. Let's, let's, let's check it out. I told the nigga, hey, bro, you wasn't pushing that while he was alive. I'm not fucking with that. That's punk shit. You were just hanging with the nigga. The nigga died. Now you want to go claim 30%? That's was going to his kids. Now that's the nigga that I might have a... Oh! Need I play anymore? Yes. What about your friends? Mm. Are they going to stay in their ground? Are they going to be... Uh, yo, the industry? The industry. See, me, I play along with this charade because I told y'all from the jump. I don't believe that Big U and Wack is really beefing with each other because they play divide and conquer tactics with the industry. That's how they got Nipsey signed. And I'm going to pause on that one because, like, 100% honest, 100% honest, I don't know Wack. I don't know Big U. Respect their mind, respect their credibility, respect them both as being men. I swear to God. This is my opinion. But my opinion is I agree with her song Campbell because, like, Nigga, I seen them niggas on Million Dollars Worth of Game. And I see before you really, before the nigga Wax started really getting disrespectful, Big U tried to keep his composure and not say anything. I mean, but I definitely agree with him. It might be a facade. Because like I say, like, like Wax say, boom. I go over that nigga house, that nigga wife ain't, I mean, that nigga ain't even there. I can go in there basically go to sleep, say the night, boom, boom. Nigga, that's love. That's family. I got brothers. That can do that. So I understand that love, value, and respect. And even me, and even if me and my brother fall out, I promise you on God, I will never treat you, your wife, your kids, nobody. We still family. I just don't like you right now. You just don't like me right now. That's our personal business. So, like for Wack to try to come and cop a deuce, because that's what he's doing. He didn't apologize. He fucking copped a deuce. That's a fucking fact. And Big, you just ain't going for it. But at the same time, it could be a whole manipulative situation because to get the heat off of uh big you getting nip cracked for whatever reason he was extorting nip for whatever reason or whatever however the situation want to play out all i'm pretty sure you heard of the stories i heard them so i'm thinking it's like a maybe a diversion that's, that's what they call a diversion to steal that traffic right there but let's get back into it let's get back into it let's get back into it Wack, you, you heard Wack say they act like they was feuding with each other so they could get a Nipsey through the back door. And they got him in. But at the same time, the same dudes that got Nipsey, his contract was the same dudes that tried to destroy him. Mm. But notice that uh, Dub C and them, and them dudes, man, they have no, they ask no questions, no part about, they skipped all around that. They skipped all around that. Because the reality of it is, and sometimes you got to understand that this celebrity gossip is really a distraction from what's really going on in the world. And these celebrities partake in that. That's why everybody is going to podcasting. And in order for them to do what they wanted to do, they had to knock me out of the box. I was being lined the whole time. Mm. I'm doing 100,000 views in less than 24 hours. 
after this WAP 100 situation, I'm doing 20,000, 17,000 people watching me during lives. And two to three weeks later, mysteriously, now my numbers is bit like they just they, they just back basically factory reset my page to try to slow me down because my voice is too strong. My numbers was doing better than the celebrities every day.